coverage of Interop is brought to you by HP Networking. Change the rules to enable the cloud. Also brought to you by Citrix and GoToMeeting. Go over to GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free Now button, and enter in the word podcast for a 30-day free trial. And also Telestream and Wirecast. Produce your show straight from your computer right to the internet with Wirecast. Geekazine is a proud member of the TechPodcast.com network. If it's tech, it's here. Continuing coverage of Interop, Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine, the Tech Podcast Network. We're here with Nicole. How are you doing, Nicole? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. Now, she's with a company called Spiceworks. I was introduced in their infancy um, when I was working with a small business where we were trying to do some sort of IT tracking, IT management, a help desk type situation. Yeah. And I found out about Spiceworks, which was the greatest thing since sliced bread at that point in time because we didn't have that much money and yeah. we wanted to, uh, we really wanted to get. Uh, these types of things into our network so we could do right. some more monitoring. Okay. So ever since then, that was like five years ago. Yeah, put it in. That's crazy. It so, is. so now we're in 2011 and everybody's coming out with their own help desk, their IT tracking systems, and they're doing it. But you guys are doing it and you're doing it all for free. So I do have to ask the question, how do you guys keep things going if it's free? It's a great question. So we have kind of an interesting model. Our whole company is built around the idea that we want to make SMB IT pros lives better. And so it's all about building a great software product. But obviously, it takes dollars to build a great software product and make it robust and sustainable over time. We actually have kind of a different model where we work with technology vendors um, who want to get access to this community of 1.5 million IT pros who use Spiceworks today. And the way they do that is through things like in-context advertising. We have some really cool ways to introduce our users to um, technology and products from our technology vendors. We have things like um, value-added uh, features uh, that go into the product, things like uh, power consumption managers, we've got rack space email managers, we've got things like an Eaton UPS manager, all built right into the environment that these technology vendors pay us to provide, um, but our users actually get totally for free, and so far, so good. The, uh, the model's working out pretty well for us. So, and, and of course, you, you, it is totally free, except if you don't, there are some ads in there. It's a great question, yeah, it's a totally free product, and in fact, the vast majority of our users use it as such. There are some you know, instances where maybe you're in, your organization can't have ads, and we absolutely offer a way for you to turn those off. It's tiny, tiny little monthly fee. Um, but for the most part, we actually find that our users get value from the ads. You'll never find a car ad or like a weight loss pill ad. None of that happens in our environment. Just no, no Viagra ads or anything like exactly. that? Exactly, none of that. <laughs> No, you're going to find stuff that maybe you will be needing to use in your daily job. Okay, um, and and the price is what? Zero. No, no, no. To, to turn off the ads. Oh, John, I think it's I think it's somewhere in the order of fifty bucks a month, but don't quote me on that. Okay, so about five hundred dollars a year, approximately, give or take a couple dollars here. Way cheaper than you're going to pay for other software. Yeah, but it's great as a free product, and a lot of things uh, went through my mind when I first uh, looked up on SpiceWorks. It was like, well, geez, are they doing some sort of back? or monitoring of my systems or anything like that. Uh, what what can you say if somebody has that same question? That's a really great question. In fact, the way that we use Spiceworks is it gets installed on your network locally. We don't have it on our systems. The only thing that we collect is anonymous aggregate data. We actually, before it ever gets to us, all of the uh, specific data um, about your user site is completely stripped away. We never see it. And the reason we do that is we can get some great trending information, things like you know how many HD printers are out there in the world, um, who's using Microsoft OS, um, you know number X, Vista, whatever. And so we can pull some of that aggregate anonymous data, but we absolutely have no way to tell what's going on in your particular system. So that way we keep it all separate and private. It's really important to us that our users' data is protected and we, we follow that above all. Can I opt in to say, yeah, my, my small business likes to be part of that, to tell you that we've got so many computers on the system or something like that? Well, so the way it works, we, we do go ahead and collect that anonymous data, and it just is part of the system. Um, yeah, and that's just kind of how it works, but we never, ever pull data about your particular system in isolation. What's the biggest, newest part of Spiceworks? Ooh, I would have to say commerce. We're doing some really, really cool new things um, right now with how you can actually research purchase products directly through the Spiceworks channel. So if you're sitting in your environment, you get a ticket request for um, a new toner for your printer. Rather than having to go visit the other website for your technology vendor, do some researching, maybe talk to a salesperson, we're making it now so that you can just click a button, check it out, submit an RFQ, and then purchase the product right there from within the product um, in the environment. 
So if I have a regular vendor that I go through products, you, you set up that vendor and you, you create a link between the two and then and then you just all, all orders up the toner. And exactly, and right in version 5.1, which is the version that just came out, we have this new request for quote feature that enables you to go ahead and outline everything that you want, um, click a button, it emails it to your rep directly and they can respond to it, you guys can interact and it's all managed in the Spiceworks environment. That's, that's just why I wish I would have had that back then in 2006. But then again, if you would have had that back in 2006, you would have been way above everybody else. Exactly, exactly, exactly. All right, so we talked about everything, but where do where do people go to get this great, great software? Question. Great question. You go to spiceworks.com, and not only do you get access to the software, but you get access to our online community, which again has that 1.5 million IT pros who are in there communicating, sharing best practices, and you can get it all for free right there. So if you're like even a one-person shop like myself, I could set up uh, all my computers, I can asset track all my computers, I can send help desk tickets to myself where I'm resolving those help desk tickets for myself. It's it's just great, a great program. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm glad I'm glad you guys were out here. Nicole, thank you very thank much you for your time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Have a great show. So spike, spiceworks.com. You got it. All right. For Interop, this is Jeffrey Powers and Nicole uh, for Tech Podcast Network. Geekazine at Interop is brought to you by HP Networks. Change the rules of networking to enable the cloud. Check out hp.com for more information about all their great new ideas in flex branding. Geekazine is also brought to you by Citrix and GoToMeeting. You know, if you need to meet with somebody and can't go to where they are, they can't go to where you are, then you should try GoToMeeting. For PC, for Mac, for iPad, you can connect up and have a great online meeting in seconds. To try this, all you have to do is go to over to gotomeeting.com, click the Try It Free Now button, and enter in the code PODCAST, and that will get you a 30-day uh, free trial. That's all from gotomeeting.com. And finally, we're also brought to you by Telestream and Wirecast. All the live action you'll see with the banners and the switching of cameras, that's all done through my PC through Wirecast. So go over to Telestream, go over to geekazine.com, click on the Telestream link, and that'll get you there for you to create some great video on your mobile device.